The lamp house has been down in the workshop for a further hammering. The top shape is basically there and it's probably about as good as it's going to get before filling. And there are some cracks as predicted. But um, overall it'd be fine, I'd be fine when it's done. And obviously I managed to get the front slide unit off. And it's quite evident that this old lantern was probably an old lantern before it met the 1907 projector and this this um, plate hides some damage from its former life so I think it was probably already old at that time as you can see I've been scraping more rust and paint it had been repainted as well at some point over the rust that was already there and um, roughly repainted as you can see paint everywhere so scraping the rust off inside now and I did try to drill out one of these screws in fact it was that one and despite using my toughest little drill bit it just laughed at me and there's no way they're coming undone so this original plate that probably did come with the projector part of the stand is permanently rust welded onto the lantern and it's beaten me I could take it to our local engineering company a few miles away get them to drill it out but we'll see in the meantime whatever happens I've got to get the paint stripped off with paint stripper then deal with all the rust including what's under the paint currently uh, and then do some filling so we've got something reasonable to work with again I've been scraping off uh, the rust from the base plate to a certain extent it's, it's very heavily pitted as you can see and I won't be removing that pitting because it's part of the story. When this had an electric carbon arc lamp in it, while you were changing the carbons in between reels, red hot carbons fizzing and popping, and with your pliers you'd probably be dropping them over here occasionally, maybe even dropping them on there deliberately before they went into a sandbox. So that's all part of it, which is why that's heavily pitted there. So I'll leave that, that will be painted over after the rust has been fixed with rust converter I think in that case. Otherwise that's going to go completely flat which, which wouldn't be right. Inside, if I remove all the rust there's a danger that we'll start getting more holes. So I think rust converter inside, uh, then with a layer of uh, either varnish or wax to stop it further oxidising. The top is definitely, once the paint's off, I'll take this outdoors when the weather gets a bit better and strip the remains of the black paint and then the rust I think is going to have to be rust converter on the top because we're already getting little holes so we don't want to take off any more rust, we'll convert it to um, a, a solid black oxide that can be painted on and filled in on. So that's the plan, not so bad in the front there. when the weather gets better. I'll strip the paint with this nasty stuff probably unless I decide to try and find some greener uh, less nasty paint remover but I guess I ought to use that up oh, what's left of it. So this is the thing that goes on the front of the lamp house or the front of the lantern. I guess it's the slide gate and I don't know, don't know what the catalog description would have been anyway. As you can see, uh, needs some cleaning up. I'm going to keep the green paint. It's either original or a very close match to, to what the uh, mechanism was painted with. And try and do something about the white spots. That's the whatever metal or alloy oxidizing, breaking through the paint. So not sure. I'm, We'll see.
lots and lots of little spots that are with and keeping the paint on there is going to be next to impossible but I do want to keep the paint so I might have to leave the white and grey spots um, but there is other cleaning that needs to be done and then put that to one side till the lantern's finished when the weather gets a bit better well I only need a couple of days of reasonable weather without the rain and howling wind and, um, and then we'll carry on in the meantime I need to order the materials, the metal that I need to make the spools, the replica spools and the legs of the stand. So there's plenty to be doing on this project while I get on with some other projects as well. Now here's a bit of a discovery. There are two holes here in this ring, this metal ring, which has a tightener there. The nut and bolt, and it all looks a bit familiar. That metal ring. What are the two holes for? Aha! To go on there, so that it's the lantern lens retaining ring. Now also, there's a number on there, 35, and I remember there's a number on here, also 35. Gate catch oiled up. That's now closed. <laughs>